Having said that, knowing that about 70% of the immune system is in your gut, then that is where we have to start in order to treat allergies. So what is the 5R protocol? The 5R stand for remove, replace, re-inoculate, repair, and retain. So what does that involve? Basically, removing means removing inflammatory foods, like for example, sugar or sometimes gluten or dairy or soy. It involves removing certain infectious agents. Replacing means replacing certain deficiencies that relate to the digestive process. For example, replacing certain digestive enzymes, possibly stomach acid, possibly bile acids. Re-inoculating relates to re-inoculating good or beneficial bacteria. I'm sure all of you out there have heard about probiotics, uh, which are beneficial microorganisms in your gut. You're supposed to have over 38 trillion of them in your guts. Think about that. There's also something related called prebiotics, which a lot of people are deficient in. I'm sure you've heard of probiotics, but prebiotics are basically the main food or nourishment for the probiotics. Probiotics are living organisms that need food too. And in general, the most common prebiotic is certain types of fiber. So where do you get that from? Again, back to healthy food. Then the other R relates to repairing. That means repairing the gut lining. That means providing it the nutrients it needs, like for example, zinc, magnesium, or glutamine. So again, if you want to follow this 5R protocol, I would suggest going to a functional medicine practitioner or somebody who is well-versed in this methodology, and they can advise you on exactly how to do this.